Facebook's revenue for the December quarter of around $7 billion means that it's achieved a year-over-year -year growth rate of around 30%. That's despite the fact that the latter part of 2018 didn't fill Facebook's timeline with happy memories. A privacy backlash, a scam ads controversy, its senior leadership under fire. Morale sinking at the company as over the past six months, its stock dropped by nearly a third. But as bad press talks, money walks. And Facebook's latest revenue numbers show that it's still raking in the dough. In the last quarter, revenues rising over the previous one by another $4 billion. There's four main reasons why Facebook is defying the haters. The first being that Facebook, now with about 2.3 billion users worldwide, is still growing. In the December quarter, it grew year over year by another 8.6%. To be sure, investors have been reacting to the news that users, particularly younger ones, are spending significantly less time on Facebook's app, with those aged 18 to 24 last year spending 27% less time on the network. But here's the good news for Facebook. Many of those young people are shifting their eyeballs to Instagram, which Facebook owns. Instagram's revenue is expected to grow by over 60% in 2019 compared with Facebook's 17% over the same period. Its revenue is growing because its dominance of the advertising market, along with Google's, is becoming even more ironclad. Last year, the two companies combined raked in about 68 cents of every dollar spent in the US on online advertising. Globally this year, Google, Facebook, and Alibaba are projected to rake in 61% of all digital ad spending. Analysts expect the consumer march from brick and mortar to digital to continue growing. And with that rising tide, the digital advertising boats to be lifted to new heights. Investors are also optimistic that advertising in WhatsApp could bring in a lot of money. Zuckerberg has said that he plans to put ads there and a lot of people use WhatsApp. Facebook, for all its controversies, is catering to a world in which anyone can easily hawk their wares online. Consider this. Facebook has 5 million advertisers, while CBS has 200. If this earnings report were a State of the Union address, the state of Facebook appears strong.